Today we're building a package drop box with a locking mechanism to keep your parcels safe for the holidays. I'm Todd Dermody and this is Done DIY. To start, decide where you'll place your package drop box. Measure your space, then determine the dimensions of your box accordingly. Once you've set your dimensions, cut your lumber and plywood to size. To build one just like ours, follow our handy cutting guide. Next, assemble the box frame using three inch screws. Our box frame will be 34 and a quarter inches tall. You'll be putting more than one screw into each joint, so offset them so they don't hit each other. Use four 34 and a quarter inch two by twos and four 17 inch two by twos to make two rectangles. Then connect the rectangles with your 19 and a quarter inch two by twos and one one by two. Next is the door divider. The package drop box will have a smaller door at the top and a larger one below. Mount a 19 and a quarter inch one by two and two by two parallel, offsetting them by three quarters of an inch. Screw these join pieces in place at a point seven and a quarter inches down from the cross piece above. This will divide the front. Now it's time to add the middle section. Mount two 17 inch two by two pieces front to back so that the top of these pieces are 16 inches below the top of the box frame. Connect these pieces with a cross brace positioned seven inches from the front upright. Drive screws into each end of the cross brace, centering the screw so that the cross brace turns as if it were an axle. Now you're going to build a ramp for the packages. Using the piece of plywood that measures 13 inches by 19 inches and one inch screws, mount it to the one by two of the door divider and to the cross piece near the middle of the box frame. Now we'll be screwing on the plywood sides. Using one and a quarter inch screws, screw the side pieces in place so the top edges line up with the top of the box frame. To mount the top piece, screw the top onto the box frame and make sure to leave enough overhang in the back to cover the thickness of the plywood you'll be using. The next step is to install the bottom mounting plates. You can attach your package drop box to either wood or concrete, and depending on what substrate you use, you may want to prep the mounting plates before you secure them to the box frame. To secure the 2x4 mounting plates, Use screws at both ends of each board and fasten the 2x4s into place. Next, attach a handle to the upper door. Then mount two cabinet hinges to the 1x2 cross piece at the top of the box frame, positioning them as high up as possible. Now attach the upper door to the hinges. Then attach the lower swinging door. Measure the height of the lower door, subtract an inch or two, and cut a continuous hinge to that length. Use two screws to mount one side of the hinge to the outside edge of the box frame. Now attach the door to the other side of the hinge with two screws. Check the alignment of the door and adjust it if necessary. Once you have it properly in place, put in the rest of the screws. We used a simple magnetic catch near the bottom of the swinging door to keep it closed. The door locks with a child safety lock that uses a magnetic key to unlock it. You just hold the key in the right spot on the door and it'll open. Finally, screw the back piece of plywood in place with the top edge tucked up under the overhanging lid. And there you have it. Enjoy your new one-of-a-kind package drop box.